What is the best pistol caliber for self-defense? The answer, as it turns out, is not as straightforward as it might seem. Factors such as stopping power, recoil management, ammunition availability, and ease of use all come into play. Today, we delve into the three most common and mainstream calibers, the 9mm Luger, the 40 s and and the 45 ACP. Of course, there are many other calibers available, but I'm only discussing the three most prevalent and practical calibers in today's video. If you'd like another list discussing 357 Magnum, 44 Magnum, 10 mm or other rounds, leave a comment below. Without further ado, let's begin. First up is the 9 mm Luger. Some might argue that it lacks stopping power compared to larger calibers, but advancements in modern ammunition have significantly enhanced its terminal performance. The 9 mm shines in its manageable recoil, allowing for quicker follow-up shots and increased accuracy, which is a boon for those with less shooting experience. Its availability and affordability also make it an ideal choice for regular practice and training. Plus, 9mm pistols often boast higher magazine capacities, giving you more rounds in self-defense situations. Capacities of 15, 17, and 21 rounds are not uncommon. While not as powerful as other common calibers, the 9mm provides a good balance between effectiveness and capacity, making them the most popular round in civilian, police, and military applications. Next, we have the 40 Smith & Wesson. This caliber offers a balance between the 9mm and 45 ACP, providing commendable stopping power while still maintaining good capacity. The 40 Smith & Wesson was designed as a downloaded 10mm cartridge that was more reasonable to handle for FBI agents. While the recoil of this high-pressure round is still far more than the 9mm or even the venerable 45 ACP, with proper training, those who are willing to carry it can make good use of its advantages. Although not as prevalent today as the 9mm, 40 s and ammunition is still widely available. Police trade-in handguns such as the Glock Model 22 and the Smith & Wesson M&P 40 series are commonly available at a discounted price. Its magazine capacity, while lower than the 9mm, remains respectable, ranging from 11, 13, and 15 rounds in a standard magazine. And the 40 Smith & Wesson cartridge is known for excellent barrier penetration, certainly an effective round for those willing to tame its snappy recoil. Finally, there's the venerable 45 ACP. Known for its larger and heavier bullets, this caliber has a reputation for impressive stopping power and excellent energy transfer upon impact. If you absolutely positively had to use ball ammo to defend yourself, the slow-moving 45 might be the best option for you. It does have more recoil than the 9mm, but unlike the 40 Smith & Wesson, the recoil is more of a push than a sharp snap, making it exceptionally manageable. The 45 ACP ammunition is commonly available, although it may be pricier than the 9mm or 40 Smith & Wesson. That being said, the 45 is a favorite for reloaders, ranging from light target loads to bear-stopping hardcast rounds. The 45 is more versatile than most give it credit for. Despite a generally lower magazine capacity, such as only 7 or 8 rounds in a standard 1911 pistol, many modern 45 ACP pistols have improved magazine designs to mitigate this difference. Pistols such as the Glock Model 21 or the FNX 45 Tactical provide higher capacity options of 13 to 15 rounds. Perfect for those who just want to sling a lot of 230 grain slugs downrange. In conclusion, the choice of caliber should be a personal decision, taking into account your proficiency and comfort. Remember, regardless of the chosen caliber, adequate training and regular practice are paramount. An excellent shooter with a 9mm will prevail almost any day against an untrained shooter with a 40 or 45. The most practical pistol caliber for self-defense is the one that empowers you to deliver accurate shots quickly and confidently, considering factors like ammunition availability and affordability. Which caliber do you prefer for self-defense? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to hit subscribe to the Daniel Eastwood YouTube channel. See you next time.